Hey, thanks for being part of PipelineTV.net. We're really proud to be out here today with uh, Chef Dan Don, better known as Dano. He's an avid surfer right here on Thank the you. Gulf Coast. It's a pleasure to meet you, brother. Yeah, nice to meet uh, you. I'm Drew Duncan from PipelineTV.net. This is Cooking on Island Time, and uh, let's talk about your surfing for a little bit, Dano. What's, uh, how long have you been surfing? I've been surfing for about 28 years. I ride longboards, shortboards, paddle boards, whatever. Whenever I have a chance, I'll jump on anything right behind here and go out right here. It's awesome. So whenever somebody inside can't find you, did they Pretty know? much go out the back door, yeah. <laughs> okay. They we're not too busy. Wherever I go on a surf trip or a snowboard trip, whatever it is, I always end up cooking. I mean, I can't Imagine help that. it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> everybody loves to go on a trip with us because I'm usually cooking. How do you like working at the Hilton? I love it. It's great. Uh, I get to play all the time. I play with food. I'm, I'm very artistic, so it's fun to paint and then play with colors of food and textures and different kinds of smells. I really dig it. Yeah, I've seen some of your paintings on uh, on Facebook. Yeah. What, what got you into painting? Uh, one thing I think it's in my blood. My dad was a famous artist from the area. His name was Dan Dunn as well. He d used to do old old school beach scenes and stuff like that. But uh, one year I told my wife if she could get me some paints and canvas for Christmas, I told her I thought I could paint. So I did a couple of paintings. They turned out well, and I really have gotten into it lately. I, I enjoy it. All right, you're, you're on a surf safari with your buddies. You guys caught a fish. You're taking that fish straight out of the water. Walk us through the process. It's this grilled uh, snapper marinated in a little coconut milk, lime juice, cilantro, ginger, and garlic. It's got a great texture. I mean, and then you put a little ponzu on top of it. It is banging. So uh, you've already scaled the fish. Already scaled the fish. And, and I scored it. Is there a reason you score it that way? Uh, it just gets all the flavors in there. I used to, a long time ago, just slit it like three slashes on one side, but I still like the scoring part of it because it gets all the flavors in the little areas. But it's uh, marinating right now, and then I'm gonna take it out of the bowl, place it on the grill probably for about eight to 10 minutes on each side, and we can plate it up with a little bit of jasmine rice and some uh, awesome, awesome pickled vegetables that are marinating in a little fish sauce and rice wine vinegar. Can you overcook a fish? Oh yeah. Okay, so you gotta be really careful you about how long that yes. fish stays on the grill seafood, or whatever heat. All seafood, I mean, it cooks so quickly. You snapper and stuff, like medium rare, almost medium. You don't want to, you know, you don't want it tough or anything like that. All right, so Dano, a beautiful snapper right there. Oh yeah. So uh, what are we gonna do here? All right, take them. Make sure that marinates all in there, all those little pieces like that. It's been, it's just gonna be awesome. It looks beautiful, man. And then we're gonna lay it down here. Wow. So this is basically a, uh, this is a dinner for any surf safari that you ever got to oh, go on Oh man, right here, yeah, you can use this anytime. I mean, it's so easy and you don't have to use the, uh, Coconut, I mean, you can just use whatever you have. I mean, a little bit of lime and olive oil or canola oil. It doesn't matter. When you're in the middle of nowhere, it does not matter. Oh, you're I know. Gonna it's going to taste good. Serving all day long, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Cool. So how long are you going to let it sit here like that? Probably about eight, ten minutes. We're going to close the lid, and we're going to get going on the sauce here real oh, quick. Cool. All right, we're going to start with a little ginger. This is like just a little ponzu. A little ginger, garlic. We got a little chili paste here. Some green onions, cilantro, we got some peanuts, actually cashews. Gotta have the lime, don't you? Oh yeah. We got a little bit of rice wine vinegar and some soy sauce. And this now, is what is this we're making right here? This is a little sauce that goes on top of the fish after it's done. Like a little ponzu. It goes really well with the marinated vegetables we have right here as well. And that's about it. You can either serve it on the side or you can pour it over the fish. It's outstanding. We got a little bit of jasmine rice we had cooked earlier in a rice cooker. Put it a little bit right there. And then earlier I did some uh, pickled vegetables. It's bok choy, onions, roasted red peppers, some garlic some cilantro with a little bit of rice wine vinegar and a little fish sauce. It's been going for about, I don't know, it's been going for 30 minutes, but it takes about 15, 20 minutes for it to marinate. It turns out so yummy and so crisp. It's beautiful too, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's all about the color, man. Put a little bit right there. 
Our snapper is ready to be eaten. All right, perfect. Oh yeah. Plate right here. Got our little sauce we're gonna use. You can either pour this on it or pour it on the side. Then we can sit down and check it out. Wow, Dano, that is a uh, gorgeous looking plate of fish for a surf safari, brother. <laughs> that's, that's all I'm saying, man. It's always fun to go on a surf trip or snowboard trip and be in a different element and cook the way you know they cook down there. And that's pretty much what it's about when you're in that kind of environment. You want to cook, you want to eat and cook like the locals do. I, I can tell you, we're so glad to have you for the first Cooking on Island Time oh, series. Man. Let's uh, give yeah. it a shot, man. That looks man. delicious, bro. So just, uh, oh my gosh. Oh, it's perfect. Mm. Mm. Dano. Damn good. Yeah, no wonder you have a job <laughs> at the Hilton, bro. Mm -hmm. Man, that is delicious. Mm. Dude, I want to thank you for being part of Pipeline TV and being part of our first Cooking on Island Time segment. You've watched uh, Cooking on Island Time. This is Chef Dan Durham, Dano, yeah. as he's known here. Local surfer, fantastic chef. Check out the recipe on PipelineTV.net, and thanks for being part of Pipeline TV. Peace. Mm -hmm.